Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today we are going to discuss about subsidiary ledgers. Okay. So, subsidiary ledgers is a group of accounts okay, with a common characteristic. Okay. There are two types of subsidiary ledgers. The first one is subsidiary ledger of accounts receivable. And the second one is subsidiary ledger of accounts payable. So, subsidiary ledger of accounts receivable, it records all transactions related to debtors with their balances. And subsidiary ledger of accounts payable, it records all transactions related to creditors with their balances. Meaning, in subsidiary ledger of account receivable, it contains all the debtor's name. Okay, while in the subsidiary ledger of accounts payable, it contains all the creditor's name. Alright. Okay, so now, we are required to prepare subsidiary ledgers of account receivable and accounts payable. Okay, so this is the uh, journals that we have prepared before. Okay, general journal and special journals. Okay, and this is the brought forward balance or beginning balance of our account receivable and our accounts payable okay all right so subsidiary ledgers of accounts receivable okay so before we prepare uh, the subsidiary ledgers we have to refer uh, the first one brought forward balance or beginning balance of our debtors okay and then uh, the second one, we must uh, refer uh, sales journal. Okay. The third one, we must refer general journal. Okay. And the fourth one, we must refer cash receipt journal, CRG. Okay. These four things we have to refer, uh, we have to take into consideration before we prepare the subsidiary ledger of accounts receivable. Okay. So, the first debtor here is Miss Linda. So we write, write down her name, Miss Linda. Okay. Okay. So Miss Linda is here, 5,000. Okay. She is our previous debtor. Okay. So we write down January 1. Okay. And then in the particular column, we write down balance BF. Okay, and the amount 5,000, we put in the balance column, 5,000, right? 5,000, okay, all right. Then, uh, there is not any transaction uh, we can relate with Miss Linda, okay? So, that's all for Miss Linda accounts, okay? All right, the second one. Uh, the second debtors here, here is uh, Mr. Dole. Okay, we can refer in the sales journal. Okay, Mr. Dole is our current debtor. Okay, so we write down the date, January 5. Okay, we refer to sales journal first. Okay, and then we write down the date, January 5. Okay, the particular columns, uh, we write down sales. Okay. Alright, so before that, we uh, write down his name, Mr. Dole here. Okay, okay. Reference, we refer to SJ, Sales Journal. Okay, so the amount 5,000 here. Okay, so we write down in the debit column. Okay, because when we sold the goods uh, to Mr. Dole, okay, Mr. Dole's account will increase. Okay, so debit 5,000 and balance 5,000. Okay, so sales journal settled. So now we go to uh, general journal. Okay, we refer general journal. If there is uh, any transaction, we can relate with Mr. Dole. Yes, okay, general journal here. And then uh, Mr. Dole, okay. Okay, Mr. Dole has written uh, defective goods to us. Okay, so we call it as sales return and allowances. Okay, so now we write down January 
10. Okay, in particular column, we write down sales, return and allowances. Okay, sales, returns and allowances. Okay, so uh, reference here, GJ, general journal. Okay, so uh, we must reduce uh, Mr. Dole's account because uh, he returned the defective goods to us. So uh, the amount of 200 must be credited. Okay, so the balance here, 5,000 minus 200. So the new balance here is 4,800. Yes, 4,800. Okay, settle. Okay, so DJ settle. And the last one, we must refer cash receipt journal. Okay, so we refer cash receipt journal here. And then uh, got Mr. Dole here. Okay, Mr. Dole uh, paid us. Okay, uh, 2352 cash. And we gave discount to him, 48. Okay, so now January 15. We write down January 15 here. Okay, in particular uh, column, okay, we write down, the first one we write down sales discount. Okay, sales discount. Okay, a reference uh, CRJ, stand for cash receipt journal. Okay, and then uh, 48. Okay, the amount is 48. So, 48 must be credited because we gave him sales discount and his accounts will be reduced okay so credit 48 here okay meaning we must minus 4800 deduct or minus 48 so the new balance here is 4752 okay so 4752 okay Settle. Okay. The second one, on 15 January, okay, the same date here, okay, we write down cash. Okay. Because we receive cash from Mr. Dole. So, we write down here cash, cash account. Okay. Reference CRJ. Okay. So, cash here is 2352. Okay. Meaning, Mr. Dole. Pay us 2352 only after deducting the sales discount. Okay, so 2352 must be credited. Yes, 2352 must be credited. So the ending balance here is 2400. Okay, all right, this is the uh, new balance, ending balance of Mr. Dole's account. Okay, all right, settle. Settle for Mr. Dole. Okay, okay, so now we go to subsidy ledgers of accounts payable. Okay, so for this subsidy ledger, we must refer uh, our, the first one, our previous accounts payable. Okay, so BF or brought forward balance or beginning balance of accounts payable. And then we must refer PJ, Purchases Journal. Okay, and then we must refer uh, General Journal. And the last one, we must refer Cash Payment Journal, CPG. Okay, these four things we have take into consideration before we prepare our subsidy ledgers of accounts payable. Okay, our first accounts payable here is... Mr. Bob, our previous uh, suppliers or accounts payable. Mr. Bob, 3000 Okay, so we write down here. Okay, Mr. Bob, January 1st. Okay, balance, BF. Okay, reference, no, and balance, 3000 Okay, that's all. Okay. So, uh, there is no any transaction we can relate to Mr. Bob. So, that's all for Mr. Bob account.
Okay, we write down his name, Mr. Bob, here. Okay. Okay, our second accounts payable, our current accounts payable here is um, Jojo. We can refer uh, to purchases journal, Jojo. So now, we write down her name, Jojo. Sinan Berhad. Okay. So the first one, uh, date. Okay. January. Okay, January 2. Okay. Because we purchased from Jojo Sinan Berhad on January 2. Okay, so January 2, write down purchases. Okay, purchases. Purchases. Reference, PJ. All right. Balance, 3,500. We write down the balance column, 3,500. Okay, now uh, we refer to another journal, general journal. Okay, so now in general journal, there is no any transaction we can relate to Mr. Bob. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Jojo's number hat. Okay, so uh, no any uh, purchases, written and allowances. Okay, transaction. So, we go to proceed to CPJ. CPJ. So, CPJ here. Also, any transaction we can relate to Jojo Strenberhat because uh, we, don't, uh, we haven't made payment, okay, uh, to Mr. Jojo yet. Okay, so that's all for Jojo. Okay, so that's all for Jojo. So, meaning we have two uh, accounts payables name Mr. Bob and Jojo number hat. Okay, Mr. Bob is our previous accounts payable and Jojo is our current accounts payable. Okay, okay, that's all for subsidy ledgers. Thank you.